In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use your keypad to arm and disarm your alarm panel. After that, we'll go through using the key fob as well. Now, if you ever need to use your keypad, first thing you need to do is wake it. To do that, you press any button once. As soon as the screen lights up, you can then choose the action you like to do. So in this instance, we're going to arm the alarm. Just like we saw before on the app, we have a house icon, which is our part arm, if we're going to bed. We have a full lock, which is our um, arming for women leaving the house. Difference being this one will give you a 30 second countdown to get back into the house before the alarm goes off. So we're going to uh, do a part set. So we're going to press any button to wake it up. We're then going to press our part set. Our house has now gone into a full part set, meaning if anything triggers the uh, sensors, the alarm will go off instantly without any countdown. I'm now going to disarm the alarm. Again, to do that, I simply press any key to wake it up. I then want to tell it I want to unlock the alarm, which is the bottom right key. It'll ask me for a code. For the sake of this, I've set up a test code. One, two, three, four. You will now see that the site is saying it's now disarmed. I do not recommend that you ever use such a simple code as one, two, three, four but just for the sake of this purpose today. Okay, so we're now going to demo doing a um, leaving the house set, and we're gonna demo what happens upon arriving back to the house with our countdown. So first we're gonna wake up the panel, then we're gonna tell it we're leaving. The house is now in exit mode. I'll come out the door, we'll close the door, and will allow the alarm to go into a full set. This can take up to 45 seconds, so don't panic if it doesn't set straight away. Uh, this is to give you time to actually leave the house and also for the house to settle so that all the sensors can become fully operational. We're just gonna let this set. As soon as it is set, I'm gonna open the front door and demonstrate the countdown process and what you would do to then disarm that panel. Okay, so our alarm is now set. We're now going to trigger it by coming back home. We'll do that now by replicating opening the door. The countdown has started. We've now got 30 seconds to disarm it. To do so, press OK twice. It will say insert code. Enter your four digit code. And the panel will now tell you it's now unset. It's as simple as that. If you don't manage to type in your code within the 30 seconds, obviously the entire alarm goes off. That's to catch baddies. Okay, we're now going to demo the same system, but this time using your key fob. So to do so is really easy. We're going to say that we're leaving the house now. To do that, we simply press the full lock button. You will notice the indicator on top uh, flashes green first to tell you that it's transmitted the signal. The second signal, the red, tells you the alarm is now in a full state of arm. There is no countdown using the key fob because it's making the assumption you've already left the house. We're now going to disarm the alarm. Uh, again, you can do this from at least uh, 10 meters away from the house by pressing the unlock button. Again, we had a flash of green and then a second flash of green telling us it's transmitted the signal and the second green was telling us the house is now unarmed. Again, if you go into bed, use the house icon at the bottom by pressing this key here. It will tell us the green has transmitted it. The uh, orange light back tells us it's now in a state of arm. We're gonna unlock that before we set it off. And it's that easy to use your key fob and your main control panel.